the crown prince of panchala a young boy has just joined the ashrama or the gurukula of bharadwaj muni his teacher's son a young boy of his own age named drona is also part of the same gurukula for many a year these two students the young prince called drupada and the young brahmana called drona learn together they become great friends because drupada was the crown prince the king to be he had learned to be courteous with everyone this boy named drona was a little too close and uh, they spent a lot of time together and uh, in time one day drupada made a promise to drona that we are friends we are equals whenever you want come i will give you half my kingdom of course he was jesting with the boy because how can a king give away half a kingdom but turns out this boy drona took it seriously many many years after their education was done and they had gone their separate ways almost forgotten about each other one day a brahmana in tattered clothes arrived at drupada's palace that man was drona and he reminded drupada the king now that he was supposed to give him half the kingdom drupada obviously thought this was laughable and said who gives their half a kingdom away laughed and asked the brahmana to leave now he did not know that drona would hold a grudge life went on for drupada he went on to become a good king and was ruling his kingdom from his capital panchala for a long time then one day out of nowhere a bunch of boys led by a prince called arjuna attacked the kingdom of drupada they took the king hostage dragged him to the feet of that same brahmana his friend from his gurukula this was so insulting this was so embarrassing for drupada and then drona had the audacity to tell him that i am going to cut your kingdom into half take half of it and now that we are equals we can be friends sure drupada had mentioned casually that friendship is between equals he did not realize drona was going to go this far he had imparted education to these kaurava and pandava princes and had used the strength of arjuna and his cousins to conquer him obviously drona didn't hurt drupada physically at least but mentally drupada was scarred his kingdom broken into half and that half not even being ruled by drona drupada went back to his kingdom filled with vengeance if drona had assumed this is the way he was going to buy his friendship drupada was going to show him and avenge this insult he took the name of yagnasena created a large yagna and started performing a putreshti yagna drupada wanted a boy who would avenge this insult a boy who was born with a specific purpose of vanquishing and killing dronacharya the sacrifice the yagna was successful and from the altar arose a boy he was to be named drishtadyumna and he would avenge his father but along with that brother almost like a bonus came another child a girl this time a girl who was not wanted was not asked for and yet who was a twin of the drishtadyumna whose purpose was revenge this girl was named draupadi or panchali or yagnaseni depending upon whether you knew her as the daughter of drupada or the one who hailed from panchali or the daughter of yagnasen this draupadi would go on to change the very fabric of society in time this boy drishtadyumna was going to fulfill his father's desire for vengeance draupadi went on to marry pandavas thereby strengthening the two kingdoms and creating a force which would play a big role in the mahabharata and change the very direction of the war drishtadyumna and draupadi are not the only two children of drupada 
he had another child. She was born a girl and in time became a man. That story will be recounted in time to come. But the one connection that you need to be aware of is that this girl is the same Amba whom we have described in a previous video. According to many stories, it was Amba reborn as this girl. In some retellings, Amba's garland fell into this girl's neck. Then she decided to take vengeance on behalf of Amba. That girl is Shikhandini, who goes on to become the great warrior Shikhandi. This Shikhandi will be responsible eventually for the fall of Bhishma. So if you think about it, Drupada's two children are responsible for the fall and death of two of the greatest supporters of the Kaurava army, two legendary warriors, Bhishma and Drona. We will delve into these stories when the time for them arrives.